Why do bad things happen to good entrepreneurs? Hey, welcome back, Jeff Hagee, Daily Success Strategies. Thanks for being with me today. So I'm sure you've heard the saying before, why do bad things happen to good people? Well, why do bad things happen to good entrepreneurs? You know, as entrepreneurs, we're eager, we're excited, we're anticipating the things that we can create, the things we can do, but they don't always go as we planned. And sometimes things go wrong. Sometimes we fail. We know that as entrepreneurs, that's one of the risks that we're taking that things can go the wrong way. And sometimes they do. Now, before we get into it, it's Monday, so I wanna do the same thing we do every Monday. One of the most important things for your success is your accountability. So what are you gonna do this week so that on Friday when you look back, you can say one, it's been a successful week, two, you're closer to your bigger goals. Be accountable to this. If you don't have an accountability coach, partner, group, find one. If you need one to join, reach out to me, I can help you there, but make sure you're being accountable. If you're watching or listening to this on social media, leave a comment because on Friday, we're gonna come back and address this. All right, so let's get back to this subject. Now, I'll be straight up with you. The reason I'm talking about this is I've got a business from a long time ago that I'm dealing with some things that aren't fun, that are really hard right now. Um, and so it really takes some perspective on how to deal with things. And I just wanna give some, some of my thoughts on that because as an entrepreneur, it's inevitable. At some time you're gonna deal with something that isn't what you intended. It didn't go as you had planned. Maybe it's a failure, maybe it's something big, but it's really interesting to go through this process and the mind games that you can play with yourself. <clears throat> so there's a few things, you know, as you deal with these things, because everyone's going to go through it at different levels. You know, as one person has a business fail, another might be working on a little project within their business and feel like that's a huge failure because it didn't work out everyone's got their own things. It's just like life, you know, everyone's got their, their own things they're dealing with that most people don't even know about that you've got to understand how you're going to deal with things and how you're going to push forward. So a few things that I've been thinking about as I've been going through this is a few key things that are helping me. One is perspective, understanding what are some of the most important things in your life. And one of the things that really reflect, I reflect on this is in my mindset questions or in my mindset journal the first question every morning is what are you grateful for today and i think that really brings things into perspective because yeah i've got one of my businesses that is going through some struggles that i have to personally deal with but you know i was having a conversation with my wife about it and she says you know what we're good our kids are healthy our kids are doing well and she went through a bunch of the things that really matter. And she says, you know what? Yeah, you're gonna deal with this. You're gonna get through it and life moves on. You've got other projects going on. You've got other businesses. You've got all these other great things happening. Keep everything in perspective. And so be it, perspective is a big one, but also that support team. Who are the people that you're surrounding yourself with? Are they gonna be there for you when you need that? When you need someone to say, okay, what is most important? What are the things you need to look at? Because it is extremely important to your success who you surround yourself with. Because there's gonna be times you need them when you're down. There's gonna be times you need them for a new idea. There's gonna be times that you need them to cheer you on for what you are doing because you know it's a great idea but no one else has validated it for you. So who you surround yourself with is incredibly important. <clears throat> And one of the other things that I think that I found that's important, I mean, I've, I'm always optimistic, always optimistic on finding solutions and doing things. And that's, I think has been a good trait that I've had, but it's also cost me at times. You know, it's cost me in different situations where my optimism made something drag out longer than it should have. If I would have dealt with it earlier, um, then it probably would have been less of a blow. I, I was actually on a podcast quite a while ago um, talking about failure. And that was one of the things that I said I learned through some of my failures throughout my life is to 
not take the attitude that failure isn't an option because failure is an option. And sometimes you've got to accept that option and be willing to move on, be willing to say, I've got to bite this bullet. It didn't work out, but we're going to move on and we're going to do something different that's going to recoup and recover and help us grow even more. So some of the big things that I just think about right now, because like I said, <clears throat> excuse me, like I said, whether it's a, a business failure, whether it's a failure on a project that really isn't that catastrophic, but you're, you put a lot of time, effort into it or whatever, you know, any failure isn't fun, but we've got to look at it as what am I learning from it? How am I going to grow from it? But when you're going through it, it's always hard. You know, I, on that podcast I was mentioning, I talked about some big failures and I said, you know what, going through them was some of the worst times of my life. But I look back on it now and I can appreciate the lessons. If I could go back and do it again, yeah, I'd probably skip that. I wouldn't go through that because it was really hard. It was a lot of problems that were tied with it, but it was a fact of life. It happened and I'm going to learn from it, even what I'm going through right now. If I could change it, would I? Absolutely. If I, I mean, obviously I would have rather our plans and the things we were doing to have worked out better, but already the lessons when I take, when I take it from the right perspective and I don't look at it as a, oh, poor me. And I look at it as, okay, what did I do right? What did I do wrong? What do we need to do different going forward? Then we can really take things in perspective and learn from it rather than just be a victim. I actually, a while back, I talked about that. The victim mentality is really hard for you to push forward and succeed. When you're focused on being the victim, when you're focused on everything that's going wrong, how can you continue to march forward? <clears throat> I mean, I've obviously, I need to deal with things, but my focus and everything about it can't be that I'm a victim and why does it have to happen to me? It's not going to change things. So what are the things that I can control and how am I going to grow from it? And so that's really a powerful thing that as you go through trials, learn, learn from that. And then again, who are you surrounding yourself with? It's such a huge part of your success. Make sure you're surrounding yourself with the right people that are going to help you grow. that are going to help you when you're down that are going to help you grow more when you're up. All right. It is going to be a great week. A lot of incredible things happening. I'm here to support you. Got a lot of great things I want to talk about this week. So thank you for being with me. Be accountable. Make sure you set out a plan of what you're going to achieve this week. And then get out and do what you said you're going to do. And on Friday, we'll talk about it. Thanks for being with me. Please share this with someone. Help me spread this word. I'll be back tomorrow. Ogmandino said that the difference between those who have failed and those who have succeeded lies in the difference of their habits. Good habits are the keys to success. Many of the habits that will bring you success in life are easy to do, but they're also easy not to do. I developed the Mindset Journal so that I could easily implement powerful success habits into my daily routine. The power of the Mindset Journal comes from knowing your top priorities and scheduling them into your day. The power of the reticular activating system and its relationship to your goals, your mindset questions, and your daily accountability. So if you want to implement some quick and effective success habits into your daily routine, go to jeffhagey.com slash mindset journal and get yours today. I've always known that accountability is important and I thought I was pretty good at it. But it wasn't until I started to work with an accountability coach that I realized the true impact of accountability. Hi, my name is Jeff Hagey and I want to tell you about our Jumpstart Calls. These are quick 10-minute daily calls with other high achievers who are growing and transforming together. If you're serious about your goals and you want to achieve more in the next 90 days than you have in the past year, this is something that you really need to pay attention to. What you are doing is important, and this is a group that's here to help support you in all of your success. Our Jumpstart calls are designed to help you create and sustain consistent momentum in your life and in your business that will ensure that you hit your goals. It's easy to get tied up in the urgent things every day, but when you commit to focus on the important things, you can move mountains. You're going to grow with us. We're doing this together and it's important. A simple 10 minute commitment each day is going to change your life. So if you're ready for a jump start, come and join us. We're going to win together. Go to jeffsjumpstarts.com.